Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, one more concept in ethical hacking or cyber security that is a DOS attacks and the DDOS attacks. So DOS or DDOS attacks. So what exactly these DOS and the DDOS attacks? So DOS means denial of service attacks denial of service and coming to the ddvs means distributed denial of service see we will see the working of denial of uh, service what exactly this denial of service now, obviously you will be understanding about the ddvs right so coming to the denial of service deny deny means refusing refusing so refusing the service is called the denial of service so what type of service so we can say the service can be done from the server or any machine or any resource or any network so if the service is refused then automatically we can say it as a denial of service for example so there will be a client and there will be a server so this this example you will be understanding much more right so client and server obviously we know that client will send the request obviously the server will send the response so that means the server is giving some sort of service to the client and if the server refused his response to the client that implies denying of service denying of service then why we are calling it as an attack so this deny is done by the attacker right so the attacker makes the server to refuse the response to the client okay so the, the attacker will make the server down and stops the service to the its clients to its clients so that we call it as a denial of service attack right so i'll write an example uh, i mean definition here so this attack dos attack so it is a cyber crime it is a cyber crime or an attack or an attack which makes the server or a machine which makes a server or machine or any other resource down and unaccessible so it can't be accessible right accessible to its users is called ddos attack so it is a cyber crime or attack which makes the server down and inaccessible to its users so how the attacker will make the server down okay how the attacker makes the server down obviously if the server is down it can't be accessible so that implies it can't respond to all this all the services i mean all the requests coming from its clients so obviously the server will refuse the request that means denial the service so how so how these attacks will done how this attack will done so the attacker will do the attack by flooding target with a traffic flooding the target with the traffic flooding means more number of requests resending the request okay let us let me explain the, with an example so let us take one client and a server so this is a client and let it be this is a server so this is a 
client. So obviously, the client will send the request and comes the response. Okay, so it is a request and it is a response. So everything will be, will be fine, right? So if one request, if one request is sent to a server, automatically the server can respond. The server can respond, right? If hundred request, if hundred request were sent to a server, obviously the response will be slow. Response will be slow. That means there will be some sort of delay in the responsing because the server have to give the service for all the requests. And if the same thing happens for thousand requests, if the same thing happens for the thousand requests, so obviously the server can't respond to the all the requests. So obviously it can't be accessible. So the attacker will flood the target flood the target with a traffic so what is this target so here the target will be the server target will be the server or any machine or any resource or any network whatever it may be so the attacker will flood the target with a more number of traffic so for example uh, consider the client and server so a number of requests will be sent from the client to server so that the server can't respond to each and every request coming from the client that implies so the server is refusing to respond and it is inaccessible right so such type of attacks we call it as a denial of service denial of service and then what is this ddos distributed denial of service distributed denial of service for example, see here, if the client was sending a continuously the packets, so thousands of packets, thousands of requests to the server, so obviously it can't respond to all the requests from the client, coming from the client, right? So in such a way, the server will refuse the request coming from the client. And similarly, So if you are having a more number of systems, and there is a server, so getting more number of requests from the multiple systems, getting more number of requests from multiple systems, right? Sending a flooding of traffic. See, multiple requests to the server. This is called DDOS, distributed denial of service, right? If single system targets a victim, that is called the DOS. If multiple systems targets the victim, that is called a DDOS. So, this is the target. This is the target so single system and a multiple system so let me write here so d go yes so this is a d go yes that implies single system targets victim system then we call it as a d o s and the same single sorry multiple systems multiple system targets victim system then we call it as a DDoS so single system and the multiple system see here if you observe if you observe here the client let it be A and there are two more systems. Let, let me uh, tell you the, the thing. So this is a B and this is a C. The system B and system C. And the B is also sending this request to the server and also getting the response. 
C is also sending the request and C is also getting the response. And A is an attacker system. Attacker system. So A is an attacker. So if the attacker continuously flooding the target with the traffic, that means sending more number of requests, automatically the server will not respond to A or a B or a C. Right? So A and C, sorry, B and C are the genuine, that means the legitimate users, but still they are not able to get the service from the server. Right? So that means they'll think that the server is refusing the response. Right? So such type of attacks we call it as a denial. That means this client, that means the attacker will make the server down and it will make not to respond to the remaining clients, the legitimate users. Right? Here also the same thing. So here multiple systems, multiple systems. So actually, so one system will be there. It's an attacker system. So the attacker system will find the vulnerabilities. For example, this is a A and this is a B, this is a C and this is a D. So once the attacker take the control of one system, the attacker will send the malware to the remaining systems of the network. Okay, it will infect the other systems. So once A got infected and A is attacker and that system will send a malware and gets the control of other systems of a network. That means A gets the control of B, A gets the control of C, A gets the control of D by sending the malware. Right? So once A got the control of all the other the systems, so A will make sure that the complete request, a flood of request should be sent by B, C, D at a time to the server. And this type of network, that means a network with the infected, a network with infected. So this is an infected system, right? So infected systems is called a botnet, okay? A network of infected computers, infected computers is called botnet botnet and each system we call it as a bot each system we get, we call it as a bot and that will infect other systems obviously now it is three and these three systems will also infect other systems so like that the complete network the systems which are available in complete network will be under the control of attacker so at a single time the attacker will trigger an event so that all the systems of a, in the system, I mean all the systems of a network which are infected will start sending the messages or a request to the server. So obviously the server will receive a lot of requests. So obviously the server can't respond to the, all the requests. Automatically the server will be getting down and it will not be accessible by another legitimate users like some some. So, so let it be some E and F. So yeah, E and F are not infected, but that server can't respond to E and F because of complete request sending by the attacker. So this process we call it as a DDoS, distributed denial of service. That means if a single system targets the victim that is called a DOS. If multiple systems targets the victim, that is called a denial of, I mean distributed denial of service. Right? So, hope you understood this uh, DOS and uh, DDOS attacks. So, let's stop here and uh, if you are having any doubts regarding this concept, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely, I will try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, Share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.